Well, what happened next is he ran through that window that's now boarded up and he tried to get away, but police did catch up with him. Now this started this morning around four o'clock this, this morning. An off duty firefighter came here to station two on Sonora Street to get a workout in. Now he didn't expect to see a lot of firefighters because he knew they were out on calls, but he also didn't expect to see a man taking personal property from the firehouse. He confronted him and he saw Saw the man with laptops, um, equipment, and personal iPads. Now, when he confronted the suspect, the suspect said he had a gun and he threatened him that he would hurt him. Suspect then ran, jumped out of the window. Now, this is Stockton's busiest firehouse. More than 8,500 runs a year, at least 25 calls a day. The firehouse has been broken into before, but a suspect has never been in the living quarters where firefighters sleep until today. We have numerous break-ins on site here, usually through the fence line, of course. Um, we're bordered on a couple sides of the firehouse by the slough. Uh, there's a transient population that is encamped all around the firehouse. Now, police did catch up with that suspect on Hazleton Street. He's 23-year-old Jamal Davis. Now, he was wearing a fire jacket when police caught up with him, but he told police, oh, no, that this was his jacket. He said he had a receipt for it in his tent. Now, he is on j in jail now. He's on burglary, robbery, and resisting arrest charges. Meanwhile, we can tell you that the firefighter who did confront him, he did not get harmed. He's okay. And the firehouse, they did have the property that was stolen returned back to them here at the fire station. Reporting live in Stockton, I'm Melinda Meza, KCRA 3 News.